The Honorable Judge Kristen Johnson presiding. Please be seated. And with that, Juanita Bruce, with arms folded, was brought into court, soon waving at her family sitting nearby. Judge Johnson officially charging the 19-year-old with first-degree murder along with other offenses. Also a Class A felony of criminal attempt, first-degree murder, and felony of employing a firearm with intent to commit a felony. This all stems from what police say started as a fight between Bruce and another woman. The feud police say ended with Bruce firing shots. The woman she was feuding with was hit in the leg as her 18-month-old daughter was shot in the chest and killed. Another woman was grazed by a bullet. Back here in court, before leaving, Bruce once again waved, even blowing a kiss. But it wasn't just the judge and her family she faced Monday. The victim's loved ones were also there. In fact, the two families came together outside the courtroom. The woman in the camouflage jacket, we have learned, is the mother of the woman shot and the grandmother of the little girl killed. She wasn't ready to talk on camera. However, Bruce's mother was. This was not supposed to happen, you know. Oh, this is so sad. This, oh, Lord, Jesus. Well, we were talking to Lakeisha Bruce. Did you hear what one mother said to another? Take another listen. It was not supposed to happen, you know. Oh, this is Sadly, one moment has forever changed two families. The judge letting the teen know these are serious charges, so too are the consequences if found guilty. In fact, Judge Johnson making it clear this crime could be punishable by death. Juanita Bruce was ordered back to court next week. At 201 Poplar, Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3. And today, Juanita Bruce was assigned a public defender.